Hi, are you feeling frazzled this time of year? Are you feeling rushed? Are you wanting to savor but don't know how? Let's talk about that in today's video. Hi, I'm Shannon Kinney Dew, holistic life coach, intuitive spiritual mentor, writer, artist, and teacher. And today we're talking about the season. We're approaching winter depending on where you live in the world. Some of you are approaching summer. This is a time for reflection. Anytime we're shifting into a new season, it is a time to pause or at least slow down the pace to reflect on where we've been. What have we been doing? What have we been up to? What kind of growth have we been experiencing? And what's not serving us anymore, you know, in that reflection, in that growth, in this past season, what has worked well? What have you loved? What are you recognizing about yourself? What are you expanding beyond? What are you breaking free from? And what's still kind of feeling sticky or messy or getting your attention? It's time to reflect on that. And when we keep with the revved up pace, it's very hard, it's really hard. I'm somebody who naturally takes a lot of self-reflection time. I like a slower pace. I mean, I am action oriented. I do like to check off my list. So there are times when I'm also frantic and um, you know, in my fast paced mode and there's nothing wrong with that. We need, we, can have both. This time in particular, especially if you're nearing the winter solstice, you're nearing winter in the holiday season, there is something in the air that makes us feel like, ah! All right, because we're already at a, at a fast pace, frenzied pace. And then we're sent all these messages about what we need to do, all the expectations, all the traditions, all the things that vie at our, pull at us, you know, at our attention and need us to do more. And I love this time of year when you can slow down the pace, when you can introduce a little bit more self-reflection or time to observe where you've come from, where you are now, where you want to go, where your life and path is guiding you next. Because otherwise, that's when we feel the most overwhelmed, when we really let stress grip us, is when there isn't awareness. There isn't awareness. And we're just going about our life because of either the expectations from our our boss, our coworkers, uh, the culture we live in, the neighborhood, all the invitations you're getting, all the things that you tell yourself you should do. But when you slow down the pace enough to tune into your natural pace and your natural rhythm, you start to go, wait a second, you can question things a little bit. You can look at things, not with judgment or even criticism, but with a curious eye with an open heart, with a quiet and calmed nervous system. And I really think the world is designed to keep our nervous systems on rev so that we don't really take the time for reflection to go wait. <laughs> I mean, if you've watched the Barbie movie, you can see they do an excellent job in there of showing, illustrating, telling the story of people plugged into something that then they're like, <gasps> wait a minute, and they wake up and we're waking up. We're constantly giving the, given the opportunity to wake up, to breathe a new breath, to dream a new dream, to let go and shed the old so that we can be here now making space for the new that's ready to emerge. But if we don't have that self-awareness, if we don't slow down the pace enough to pause, to reflect, that's the hamster wheel. That's just going with the motions, but there's something inside going, oh, 
This doesn't feel right anymore. This is, there's a dissonance there. It's not in alignment with your soul. And that's the shedding of process. That's the waking up process. That's the invitation of this new love energy that we can feel and especially feel this time of year. Because when we really get down to it, the beauty of winter, the beauty of the holidays is to invite the things that matter most to you, to make space for what is important to you. What is that? That's my question to you today. What is important to you? And how can you slow down enough to savor, to savor it? Savor is one of my favorite words because we can't stop time. And in this, where we live now, we can't go back in time. We have this moment. This is the moment we have. And some of the mantras I've been leaning on lately when I feel like I'm either getting revved up by expectations, my own mind, the people around me, there's a lot of revving going on. I'm just seeing this like agitation and it's very easy and especially if you're watching this you're probably more highly sensitive you're probably more of an empath you're a nurturer by nature you are um, a visionary you are creative you have these ideas of how life could be and you're feeling the shifts you are deeply feeling it even if you can't put your 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 words to it it's it's in there you're like ooh this is i feel my life changing i feel big changes coming and they're good changes you know but what is it and wh where is it going to take me and ooh right <laughs> that's happening to so many of us like i want this change i can't live like this anymore but what's it looks i don't know i don't know where it's going to take me and so um you can stay revved and you can allow the people and the expectations and the advertisements and all the things uh, pull you off center. Or you can breathe a new breath. You can be in this moment. And that's what I was gonna say is I'm, I'm leaning on a couple of phrases. When I feel like somebody is revving around me, you know, my old tendency would be like, oh God, I gotta fix this. I've gotta find peace with this. I've gotta, ooh, do something right and my practice is I'm not going to be the fixer I'm not the fixer it's not my job to make anyone else happy right to fix their um, obstacles or the things that they are needing to learn from I can be a light I can be a support I can be love I can be of service but I don't have to let the frenzy of people and experiences outside of me um, pull me in the tornado, make me swirl and twirl. I can stay grounded. And so some of the ways I'm doing that are the phrase accept, accept and surrender. So if I feel like, ooh, I can start to feel it. You know when you have self-awareness, you know, and you're um, maybe even out in the busyness of the crowds right now, even doing something fun, like going to a movie in a busy theater, or going to um, ice skating or uh, going shopping. Um, whatever you're doing, you can still feel that frenzy. There's this energy uh, where people are either in joy or in stress. And um, maybe they're snapping at you or maybe they pull in front of you in their car or maybe they come home from work and they're feeling the energy of their co-mates and they're um, not quite grounded and so therefore you're feeling that around you. There's just a phrase that I, I lean in on when I feel myself, <laughs> it's always for me in the shoulders, Ooh. accept and surrender. And then I pause and that just helps me let go of not trying to fix that, to allow, to allow whoever is in their space to be who they are, to allow their authentic selves out and to let them process. Now that doesn't mean we don't set healthy boundaries. There are times when people want to do, you know, I, I, I learned a phrase recently called trauma dumping, where people just, you know, want to 
release onto you. And then they're there, they leave feeling great. And you're like, ah, I have learned over the years how to not carry that. Um, it takes practice and there's, there's tools you can use. And that, in fact, you know, a few tools that I use are mantra. I like to lean in on phrases like accept, surrender. Another thing that's been helping me is, um, these, I remember, okay, I can't go back to the past. I can't control the future. I, I have a vision for where I want it to go, but really, you know, I'm a co-creator in this life. I'm, I'm still riding this, this ride. Where is it taking me? And so I, I practice breathing. I say, I, I, I have my breath and my breath gets me to the moment because there's nothing there is nothing more present than your own breath when you pay attention to it. Luckily for us, our body voluntarily <laughs> breathes. Otherwise, I think we'd forget to do it, right? We tend to forget the breath. So if we pause and just breathe, three deep belly breaths calms your nervous system, brings you to the center, brings you to this moment and when you're centered you are more able to not freak out or allow the energies of others to suck you in you can breathe so i always try to use my breath to bring me to the present and then i lean in on gratitude especially when i start feeling like i'm going down that spiral of either anxiety or regret or doubt or all the things that happen in our human life how human of us you know those are real important emotions to learn how to release and process but if we allowed ourselves to get sucked into the regret the fear the stress and the overwhelm of everyone around us can you imagine can you just see yourself swirling and swirling and swirling. And I think that's what a lot of us do, which I think is why we stay at that frenzied pace. Because if we keep the pace going, we can handle more of that until eventually something happens that will wake us up. That will wake us up. And I feel like if we get more intentional about slowing down and having more reflection within our day, we won't hit the burnout quite so hard. We may avoid some health concerns. We might be able to create a little bit more balance in, the, in our life to handle what comes next on our path. Yeah, this season of savoring allows us to slow down the pace as best we can and appreciate the little things. So maybe not checking off all the things on your list at, is as important as having a quality lunch date with someone you really love. Or rather than sending Christmas cards to every person you know, maybe it's just pausing and taking the time, the 10 people that you haven't thanked in your life or that you really love the most writing a handwritten letter to them. Or maybe it's not buying all the things, but buying the one thing that you are just so, oh, you know, it's like the, the um, <laughs> Kristen Wiggs character in SNL, where you're just like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> you, can't, you cannot wait to give it to them, right? But it doesn't have to be all the things where you're starting the new year in a, a hole of doubt, of well, doubt and debt, but the one thing that you're just like, I cannot wait till they open this. <laughs> My sister does a much better Kristen Wiig impersonation than I do. Um, how can we savor this moment? That's what I'm using the shift into the season. The shift for me right now is winter. And how can I have a little more self-awareness and reflection? You know, it's, yeah, it's just this time of year. What's important to you? What is important to you? What is your soul craving? And where have you come from? Like, here's, here's the other thing about 
this season in particular that I love. My oldest son is, is a little sage and he, he created a, a family um, holiday and it, he calls it nostalgia day. And we do it about twice a year and he plans the whole thing. He schedules it out and it's, sometimes it's uh, playing old games, you know, like they're getting, in, they're in their teenage years and we might play Candyland or Shoots and Ladders. Like we might pull out the old wooden train set that they used to build, which makes me sad that they're like outgrowing that stuff. That's the point of nostalgia day, nostalgic this time of year is to reflect on where you've come from and all the growth and the celebration. Because I think so often we're fed this, these messages and we do it too, where we just focus on what isn't working. And then we forget all the stuff that's so amazing, which is why having a gratitude practice is so important. But nostalgia day, we go back and we play the old games from the past and we reflect on, we eat some of the old foods that they loved as kids. and. We watch home videos and um, old movies that were their, you know, favorite when they were little. And there's something so almost bittersweet about it because it makes you pause. It makes you go, wow, life is precious and it's going so fast. And I can't slow down the pace necessarily, but I can do my part to be more present to what's happening now and I can try to savor the now. And I can be grateful for it and I can make space for the things and the people and the experiences and the new traditions even, not in the old, that I want to honor and celebrate this time of year. It's, there's so much to celebrate really when we pause when we tune in, when we breathe. So that might be something fun for you to try. Nostalgia day or nostalgia hour. Take a moment to go into your phone and look back at your most precious and um, celebrated photos and videos that just oh, make your heart swoon, make your heart open, make you feel emotional make you realize that there is magic in the everyday. There is magic in the simple. And there's magic everywhere when we slow down enough to see it. So if you're feeling frenzied, breathe, slow it down. My last video, I think I talk about the sipping breath. I have free meditations on Insight Timer. Make space to breathe, to pause, to reflect. And then look back at the past season, or really, since there's so much shift happening in the world, we're really being called to look at the past, our past life. Look at the amazing things that you've accomplished, the amazing growth you've experienced, amazing challenges you've moved through. Look at how you have done that and found love and light and openness in your life, forgiveness, joy, wonder, curiosity, magic. Celebrate that this season at a slower pace and honor where you're at. And I'm just so grateful. I'm grateful for you for listening. Let me show you what I've been up to. I have been making flower essences and I've been growing borage. It's just, I get in these waves of uh, loving my um, flowers. The certain flowers are just, or plants, trees, anything in nature really. Um, will just show up in my life at a certain time and I I pay attention. So Bora just come into my life recently and um, you can make tea from it. You can, there the flowers are edible, they're beautiful. When I sat in meditation with Borage, the, the things that came up for me are a, a sense of balance. It has this like very mm, beautiful divine masculine and divine feminine energy so it's really it helps bring balance or helps you return to balance in your life it um helps you tune in to courage so if you're feeling a little like oh i really want to speak up or i want to try a different tradition this year or i just don't want to go to that thing um but i'm feeling like i should you know tuning into your inner courage and bringing a sense of 
confidence there and empowerment there, it, that's what Borage can help with. It just helps, um, helps you find your inner courage. It also, it's, it has this delight quality to it. Um, people who have seasonal, dis, um, what is that called? Seasonal <laughs> anxiety disorder, seasonal anxiety disorder, or, um, when you just feel down, just kind of down, not, not like depressed, deep depression or not deep grief, but kind of like a, ugh, like there's just like a film over your day or you're feeling just kind of, you know, those gray days. I love gray days, but sometimes you're just like, come on. Right. It's just like, ugh, that kind of feeling. It helps you bring a sense of delight and optimism to your life. And so that's what Borage has done. So I've been making these rollers. I'm making um, uh, flower essence. Can you see that? I don't know if it's blurry or not. Uh, flower essence um, rollers. It has coconut oil. It's all organic. Um, it has Borage oil, bor bor Borage oil, Borage flower essence. And it's called Joyful Heart for courage, optimism, and delight. So I've been using that, making these, I'm just doing small um, specialty batches for friends and family right now. But if you're like, I want one of those, just shoot me a message or leave a comment because I'm just selling them um, by message only right now. Cause I just, I kind of don't feel like doing a whole Etsy thing right now. I have an Etsy shop, but I don't know. This just feels special and it's important to me. And so if it resonates with you, reach out. So this is the Borage Flower Roller. And then I also have the Flower Essence in a tincture form. And you just take a few drops a um, couple times throughout the day, and it just helps you balance your energy. It's life force energy from the flower. It's plant medicine is really what it is, and it's all natural, because it's not even oil from the plant. This is, this is the essence, the, the life force energy from the plant. So there's those as well. Okay, so I've been making those, having a lot of fun. I'm still doing my, I think the last video I shared, I'm learning sourdough. I'm getting better at it. I love it. Um, for whatever reason, this crystal came up today. This is amethyst. Um, I don't know, it's drawn to this color. Pay attention to the colors you're drawn to. It can be through crystals. It can be through flowers. It can be through what you want to wear. Pinks and the greens are drawing me. Um, that's very heart centered. Um, that's, you know, the colors of your heart center. Um, joy, wonder, curiosity. When you're doing your self-reflection and pausing, you can do it with tenderness and gentleness and not judgment or criticism. It's not about improving upon yourself or fixing you. There's nothing to fix. You're beautiful, you're whole, you're complete, exactly as you are. This is simply about expanding, expanding the love for ourselves and the love for others. So keep expanding your heart as you take good care of yourself, finding ways to center, finding ways to accept and surrender, finding ways to tune into your breath with gratitude, and finding ways to savor. Savor, slow it down, find your natural pace. Your natural pace may be frantic, 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 and then a lot of resting. Your natural pace may be, may be, you know, more fluid, but it's your pace that I want you to find. Not what's expected of you, but what feels good in your soul. What makes you feel like, oh my God. <laughs> if you don't know that character, <laughs> Kristen Wiig, she gets so excited. She's like not supposed to tell anyone anything. She's like, oh my God, I can't wait. And she gets so excited. She like throws herself out windows and breaks tables and stuff because she just she can't wait to tell the person about their surprise. You know, there, there's something to that, that that is a beautiful way to live. I know life is, is tricky. I know there's lots of challenges. There's lots of grief that comes up this time of year. I know that many of you are missing loved ones. I know I'm not telling you to discount any of it. Feel it. Be nostalgic for it. Cry, release your tears, reach for the support that you need. And then within that, where is the magic? Where is the sense of wonder? Where is the surprise? 
Where can you savor right now as you look around outside of yourself and within yourself? Share a lot of love with yourself right now and tenderness because a lot of the messages out there want to knock you down, want to pull you off that, that love. And with awareness, with that slower pace, you know what's up. You know what's up. So joyful heart, right? Keep a joyful heart. What's going to bring a joyful heart in your life? Yeah, that's a good question for us this season. So be well, my friend. Thank you so much for listening. I wish you a very um, happy holiday season, whatever holiday tradition you celebrate. And um, take good care of yourself right now. Take really good care of yourself and surround yourself with the people who uplift you, with the people who get you, with the people who are also in a place of expansion, who want the best for you and who want to share their love and joy with you as well. If you are interested in any healing sessions, you can check out my website. I'll share the link below. It's afreespiritlife.com. Be well, and thank you so much for listening. Bye.